Hello everybody and welcome to my garden. Betty's come to join us because we thought we'd have a little bit of a story time. Oliver has asked me to read a story for him so I thought you'd all like to hear one. I spoke to Miss Brown this morning and she said she wanted to read The Gruffalo so I thought I would read The Gruffalo's Child. It's not snowing here today, it's another beautiful day. Sit down Betty, you've got to listen to the story. The Gruffalo said that no Gruffalo should ever set foot in the deep dark wood. Why not? Why not? Because if you do, the big bad mouse will be after you. I met him once, said the Gruffalo. I met him once a long, long time ago. What does he look like? Tell us, Dad. Is he terribly big and terribly bad? There's the Gruffalo. And there's the Gruffalo's child. I can't remember now, the Gruffalo said. Then he thought for a minute and scratched his head. The big bad mouse is terribly strong and has a scaly tail. It's terribly long. His eyes are like pools of terrible fire and his terrible whiskers are tougher than wire. There's the tail that we're going to be looking for. One snowy night when the Gruffalo snored, the Gruffalo's child was feeling bored. The Gruffalo's child was feeling brave, so she tiptoed out of the Gruffalo's cave. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. Into the wood went the Gruffalo's child. And my child. Aha, uh -huh. oh ho, a trail in the snow. Whose is this trail and where does it go? A tail poked out of the log pile house. Could this be the tail Burr. of the big bad Burr. mouse? Whose tail do you think that might be there? Out slid the creature. His eyes were small and he didn't have whiskers. No, not at all. You're not the mouse. Not I, said the snake. He's down by the lake eating gruffalo cake. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. I'm not scared, said the Gruffalo's child. Come on, up here, Betty. Come on. Oh, she really wants a treat. Pass the treat, Hattie. Pass them over. Betty, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on up. Come on up. I bet this is how your mummies get you to listen to a story, isn't it, by giving you a treat? There you go. Aha, oh ho, marks in the snow. Who are these claw marks and where do they go? Two eyes gleamed out of the treetop house. Could this be the eyes of the big bad mouse? Down flew the creature, his tail was short and he didn't have whiskers of any sort. You're not the mouse. To who not I? But he's somewhere nearby, eating gruffalo pie. The snow fell fast and the wind blew wild. I'm not scared, said the Gruffalo's child. Oh, off she goes again. Ah, uh -huh, oh ho, oh, a track in the snow. Whose is this track and where does it go? Whiskers at last and an underground house. Could this be the home of the big bad mouse? Out slunk the creature, his eyes were fiery. His tail wasn't scaly, his whiskers weren't wiry. Who that is? You're not the mouse. Oh no, not me. He's under a tree drinking Gruffalo tea. It's all a trick, said the Gruffalo's child as she sat on a stump where the snow lay piled. I don't believe in the big bad mouse. But here comes a little one out of his house. Not big, not bad, but a mouse at least. You'll taste good as a midnight feast. Wait, said the mouse. Before you eat, there's a friend of mine that you ought to meet. If you'll let me hop onto a hazel twig, 
I'll beckon my friend, so bad and big. The Gruffalo's child unclenched her fist. <gasps> the big red mouse, so he does exist. The mouse hopped into the hazel tree. He beckoned and then said, just wait and see. Out came the moon. It was bright and round. A terrible shadow fell onto the ground. Who is this? Who is this creature so big, bad and strong? His tail and his whiskers are terribly long. His ears are enormous and over his shoulder he carries a nut as big as a boulder. Look at that shadow. The big bad mouse, yelled the Gruffalo's child. The mouse jumped down and the twig from the twig and smiled. Aha, oh ho, prince in the snow. Whose are these footprints and where do they go? It's the mouse looking at the footprints now. The footprints led to the Gruffalo's cave, where the Gruffalo's child was a bit less brave. The Gruffalo's child was a bit less bored. Oh look, he's got a snuggle back under the Gruffalo's arm. And the Gruffalo snored and snored and snored. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that. That is one of my absolute favourite stories. Shall we just get Betty back to say bye bye? Betty, come on, my sister. Come on, up, 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 up. Come on. That's it, right. You got to say bye bye to everybody. Bye bye. And we'll give her a little, we'll have a little trick. Ready? Wait. Catch. Good girl. Bye-bye. See you soon.